James Moines on this channel next is Chianti Classico Reserva from the producer Castello di Albola. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about this wine. Lovely, lovely wine here. And to me, I think this is representative of uh, finely made wines from Chianti, Chianti Classico Reserva. And I'll show you a map right here where Chianti Classico is. There are many Chianti regions, as you can see right here on this map. And some gorgeous wines are produced in this region. So more about this wine. Let me show you the label. This is Castello di Albola. This is a 2014 vintage of Chianti Classico Reserva, 100% Sangiovese and uh, back label for you to look at here, 13.5% ABV. So this spends 14 months in oak barrels and another 18 months in glass barrels. So this is giving that beautiful signature of Sangiovese. I think it's a fantastic variety, one that I long to taste often and I don't ever get enough of. And uh, to me, this is a, a beautiful coloration. It's really hard to give a, a viewing here uh, so you get that coloration that I'm getting. So very vitreous. And vitreous, I'm gonna use the terminology of cathedral stained glass window because obviously you're gonna see, um, you know, I always imagine a cathedral with beautiful stained glass. You can't see completely in the outside world, but you definitely see that beautiful sun characterization coming through the glass and uh, showing the luminescence of that beautiful red coloration. Uh, fantastic, beautiful wine. Now, in Sangiovese or Chianti wines, you're gonna see that, you know, the minimum amount of Sangiovese is 75% and uh, no more than 10% Caniolo and uh, the remainder can be made up of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, or Syrah. For me, I really enjoy the 100%, if not maybe that 10% of Caniolo. Those are indigenous varieties to Italy versus the, the international varieties, which in my opinion, over characterize. Yes, I've tasted some beautiful examples where they have a, a smidge of say Merlot or Syrah or Cabernet Sauvignon, but I think to me, it's just really nice to taste 100% Sangiovese. Uh, this wine is just thoughtful in character, one where it can be served with many dishes, so not just the bolognese or the pizza. So when you think of this wine, it's, it's sublime for, you know, tasting on its own, but also I think remarkable with food. Chiopino, a San Francisco treat, that uh, beautiful seafood dish with tomato base on it is fantastic for this wine. So not just the pizza or the bolognese, but definitely try with beef and lamb dishes, uh, chicken dishes as well, and definitely try with fish. Uh, I love salmon, so I would definitely pair this with salmon. Gorgeous characterization to this wine, and uh, the price point on this is around the late 20s. I've seen this in the $28 price point. Again, this can depend on where you are within the United States. And given the long term that it's held back, uh, because it is a Reserva, you know, it, it's a fantastically high quality wine. It's not out of the gate, and so they've done the aging for you. It is uh, sublime, beautiful, gorgeous. So. First of all, the point score, this is 93 points out of 100 points. So this is expressing with Loch Ness Blackberry, which to me is uh, really that beautiful spicy blackberry characterization, heirloom blackberry. Additional notes on this are a bit of underbrush notes, suede and uh, red rose petal notes. So when I speak of red rose petal, to me, I, I, you, I can think of fresh or I can think of dried and dried to me speaks more to this in terms of that uh, beautiful concentration of flavor, a bit of spice and pepper note as well. And next, the palate characterization. Lovely wine where this is not Syrah, this is not uh, Tanat, this is not going to be Le Grain. It's uh, a nice characterization. It's a nice uh, weight to the wine, but it's not over expressive, not overly tannic. And uh, I think it's really giving it a nice handshake to the palate. So on this, uh, Loch Ness Blackberry comes again to play, as well as fennel notes, bit of white pepper, violets, um, and finishing with tarragon notes. Down below is the like button. More information on this producer down below. Questions and comments and more information on this producer is down below. Right up here is the subscribe button. So please hit that button. Reason to do so is very simple. You're gonna see the latest videos that I'm producing. So I really do appreciate and I'm very thankful to get these beautiful wines landing on my tasting table. So try this producer's wines. It is fantastic. Castello di Albora. Thank you for watching. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. And many more wine reviews to come. Thank you for coming by. I do appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Salute.